Sean Sides is the librettist and she's a playwright. Someone who had that kind of theater aesthetic. So with the opportunity to do Poe, I immediately called Sean and she was super excited. She'd never done a libretto for a ballet and that's something new for her. And so we've been having a good time exploring all of these stories of Poe. And that he would go when he was getting his picture made and make sure that his hair <laughs> was like not covering up his genius is forehead. Is that right? That's right, yeah. yeah. Where does my forehead stop? <laughs> I don't know, but mine is Where does very... it start? Does it stop? <laughs> this invitation was a thrill, and it was a terrifying and humbling. Of course, the terror melts away when it starts to become fun. We had several meetings, and I knew that Stephen was interested in the biography as well as the tales. I knew that my task was layering in the tales as part of the biography and as commenting on the biography. I would like the audience to understand Poe wasn't mad, the world was mad. Tuberculosis is rampant everywhere he lives. This is not a mad person, this is a person who sees the darkness underneath. There's the Poe quote, there is no exquisite beauty without some strangeness in proportion. Poe understands that beauty is by very definition ephemeral and carries the ghastly within it.